All right, we're in the house. We're in the house, family. We're in the house. I know everybody been waiting. Uh, had to get on this Donald Trump shit. And uh, it's going to be fun. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we talking about Donald Trump. And, I, you know, I watch the political shit. Let me see how family doing in the house. Y'all in the house? All right. You know, I'm looking at Donald Trump and everybody, you know, they they against Donald Trump. I'm no I'm not for no white man. <laughs> okay? I let let you know that. You know what I'm saying? But everything is a chess move. And, and you know why we on this planet. You know, and I sit back and I study old Donald Trump. And I think about the shit that he pushing. And I think about me myself. You know, I know what he is, and he ain't ashamed to say it. And I'm all right with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm all right with it. What I ain't all right with is a motherfucker that try to play like he for you. You understand what I'm saying? Play like he's some type of humanitarian or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But all along, the motherfucker just as vicious as he want to be, like Bill Clinton. See, a lot of motherfuckers adopted Bill Clinton. You know, talking about Bill Clinton was the first black president. I heard niggas say that. I say, what the fuck is you talking about? Because he let some niggas go blow a horn at the White House? Or because he called motherfucking... Aretha Franklin or somebody up there to sing a motherfucking song? You know, all of a sudden he black? And this motherfucker put more laws on the books to lock niggas up more than any other goddamn president that ever lived. That motherfucker took us back. That, that motherfucker Bill Clinton took us back to the motherfucking plantation. You understand? There ain't been more motherfuckers locked up in in shackles and shit since we've been on the plantation. Oh, Bill Clinton. And so I seen motherfuckers, you know, and so, you know, you know, oh, 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 Donald Trump coming, he, he overt. You know, he overt. You mean, especially when he get mad, he gonna tell you just how, and I ain't, you know, motherfuckers mad cause, you know, it's obvious he don't like black people. That's how. But he don't like a whole lot of other motherfuckers. <laughs> he don't like a whole lot of other motherfuckers, too. You understand what I'm saying? And some of them motherfuckers I don't like. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, nah. I know a lot of people going to be mad out there, too. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Donald Trump talk about building the wall down there. Now let me. I, I just want to ask black people: Are you really? Are you really upset, huh? Because Donald Trump wanted to build a. I wouldn't give a motherfuck if he built the goddamn wall or not. Some of you motherfuckers act like you come from motherfucking Mexico or some nigga. You what benefit is you getting either or? Whether the motherfucker put it up or don't put it up, what benefit is you get? You know what I'm saying? Out of either old nigga. And matter of fact, you know, when you think about, you know, how they flooding in over in this motherfucker, you know, taking out, you know, taking shit from us. We ain't got shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, who, who, who they mostly affected? They not going to affect the top 15, 20%. Of white people, cause they so filthy that you you know no bottom fish, no bottom feeders are gonna ever affect them. So when you think about all these motherfuckers flooding in at will, and then they gonna get a job, you understand? They'll take one for two dollars, three dollars. You understand what I'm saying? And so you think about who is that most affected? You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, the common. White man gonna be affected. That's gonna be the low bottom feeder white man. 
That's who that gonna affect. So when I think about, you know, this motherfucker talking about he gonna build a wall, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers is so ridiculous and shit. You know what I'm saying? So in that is, I don't give a fuck. You understand what I'm saying? Build that motherfucker. Build that motherfucker. You, you know, you know, keep them out, keep them out. That's what the hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you think about it, yeah, I ain't for the man, but like I say, that's between them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it from a perspective of African people. I'm not saying he doing it for us. They ain't even concerned about us. That's a beef between them motherfuckers for whatever reason they beefing. He saying he's sick of that shit. Okay, them people, them white people that didn't put his ass in power, they upset. So that's really something where you step back and you say, okay, they got something popping off. How does it affect me? You know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to be real. I don't give a fuck about them building no motherfucking wall at all. Okay, I'm just looking at some of the major shit that that motherfucker talking about doing. Nah, uh, take it how you wanna, take it how you wanna. I don't give a fuck about him building no wall. You understand what I'm saying? We beefing with the motherfuckers anyway. You understand what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers, y'all talking all this black and brown shit, and these motherfuckers killing our peoples and all out west and shit. And you niggas don't want to talk about it. You understand what I'm saying? Because you so busy and shit, you know what I'm saying? Swallowing another man and shit and doing all this other shit and don't want to tell the truth. I tell the truth. Ain't nothing about no black and brown popping off shit. When they see they people, they see they people on top and they don't see you sharing no spot, nowhere. Okay? Even when you out there, certain them got some of them goddamn communities, they killing motherfuckers if you try to move in the community. Or if they taking over the goddamn community to clear that motherfucker out, they'll shoot your shit up, shoot your house up. They, I, I've seen documentaries where they shoot babies out in the goddamn street. So I don't give a fuck whether they put no goddamn wall up or not. Put the motherfucker up. You know what I'm saying? So when we talk about this shit, we, we, we blindly throw shit out. But in that particular aspect, I don't give a fuck. Okay? So when we talking this shit, and, you know, now he talking about America first. I'm not no American. I know I ain't. I ain't never got nothing. My people ain't never got nothing. But the look, niggas got to understand. Everything else is philosophical. Bitch, you got to eat today. Okay? I understand our Africanness. I understand. Bitch, you got to eat today. Motherfucking meals got to be on this motherfucking table today. They know the philosophy and, you know, our dreams of liberation. We we bang hard to bring that, you know, to a reality. But it's not now. You know what I'm saying? As much as we want it to be, we working hard to, so we can get up out of all of this shit. That's real talk. But meals got to be on this bitch today. OK, and so in that respect, you know what I'm saying? It got to be some fluctuation or some goddamn finance in this goddamn country. You know what I'm saying? I look, I, I watch videos about Africa all damn day, you know, trying to see and, and pick, you know, I study, you know, and what, you know, where the best place to go. And goddamn it, even when I look overseas and when you, even where you look and you see where, yeah, some African nations is moving and doing, moving and grooving. But when you pull back the veil, see, niggas don't want to pull back the veil. The beast hand is right there. Right motherfucking there, that beast hand is in there. You see what I'm saying? So I don't want niggas to think that they going over some goddamn way. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rare that you going to find a nation that, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to all them goddamn skyscrapers and shit, and this, that, and the third, listen here, man. God damn it, I seen shit in Nigeria, and I was looking at this major motherfucking uh, resort they building over there, and the president, I, I couldn't wait. I say, oh, yeah, they sh when it first came on, they showed all the buildings and oh, how they about to tighten that shit up. It's going to be the, the Atlantic City, Las Vegas, or Nigeria, and they're going to have 
on and it's going to be an economic hub. And then they had the presidents and the, the five, man, all crackers, all at one, one, one nigga. I said, I looked at that shit. I said, wait a minute, man. What the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? They running it all. They running it all. The top with the six motherfuckers, the president, the executive of this. And, they, and this is in Nigeria. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I say, okay. You know what I'm saying? So all that thinking, you know, so for us, you know what I'm saying? We got to understand, you know, right here, you know what I'm saying? Our platform to spring out in Africa is, a, but look at Africa. We got to work. It's work to be done now. It ain't like we showing up to somewhere that don't need, goddamn, need hell of a work. Need hell of a work, man. It's serious out here. And so when I look and I see right now today, we got to put meals on the motherfucker. So what we doing here right now matters a whole lot on how our future going to look. You know what I'm saying? We could catapult a lot of shit based on what, you know, what we for. We can't show up with nothing. OK, even when niggas talking about going, you not going to show up nowhere. You're going to have to stack something up just to go some motherfucking way. I dare any motherfucker to pack his, what you just gonna get an airplane ticket? You understand? Just show up some motherfucker. What you gonna do, nigga? You got to have something to sit on, even if you go somewhere, nigga, because you might get over there don't like it, nigga. You got to have somewhere to stay. You got to feed yourself. You got to have transportation. You got to do it. So you, you, got to, you got to stack up here just to make a move to go somewhere else. So a lot how these bees, and I know they ain't doing it for us. But when we understand that we got to finagle a lot, you know, and shit and, and get in where we fit in to get our stacks together, you know, get our bag together. Nigga, we got to have finance here. You understand? Us. Now, another motherfucker, wherever he at, he got to have finance where he at. So now I see this motherfucker, he, you know, now I don't, you know, I don't know how that, you know, him warm with these other motherfuckers. He didn't put trades and tariffs on all these motherfuckers. Is it going to be a backlash? I don't know. Don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, it's going gonna, it's gonna to produce what the fuck is. We ain't got shit to do with it. You understand what I'm saying? But when I look at China, he warm with China. Do we give a fuck about China is in Africa trying to take that bitch over? So if this motherfucker is trying to fight the Chinese from taking, I know the beast is going to be one beast or the other, unless you into cracking heads and shit. And, and, you know, and that's the reality. Niggas act like, oh, yeah, you know, bitch, unless you're going to crack some heads, nigga, you're going to exchange one beast for another. That's all you going to goddamn do. You understand what I'm all that, all that philosophy and shit, goddamn it. The motherfucker with the biggest pot and the biggest military that could show up, nigga, going to be the next motherfucker in line. China think they could do it now, and they in Africa. So if this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, can, you know, sever this motherfucker, I mean, don't act like the Chinese better than the white man. That's a lot. I watch videos. They got this one bitch. She over there selling ivory, all type of, you know, and this is a Chinese. You know, they locked her ass up and gave her ass 15. They got a, a video channel to show the Chinese over there doing all type of wicked shit. The same shit the European doing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So, who do you who do you side with? Okay, you don't side with nobody because you ain't in that fight no way. But God damn it, you know, are you for the Chinese? I mean, at least for here, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get some fight, you know, at least it's a possibility. You're going to get some five naps. You understand? Because he trying to push the shit here. You understand? For his people. They, they can't get all the money. Yeah, we're going to get the crumbs, but we're going to get more crumbs than the next motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? So when you really look at it, him beefing with China, do we give a fuck about the fact that he beef with China? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody need to stop the motherfucker and his ass. You understand what I'm saying? Two. You understand what I'm saying? But who do we really give a fuck about? Nigga, everything you got on come from China, nigga. Yeah, even the a black nigga, the flags and shit, nigga, red, black motherfucker, you turn that bitch over and say, made in China. 
So them bitches taking over every motherfucking thing. You understand what I'm saying? So, it, it, you know, curtail that. We got more uh, power here. You understand what I'm saying? We got more power here. We ain't got no power in China. We ain't got no power in China. Chinese ain't sharing shit with nobody. Black. You know what I'm saying? They give them more for at least we got some, you know, uh, you know, we can finagle some some type of economic about because we in his system. We deep in his system to where we can finagle something up out this bitch. I don't give a fuck what you I bet you got to put a meal on your motherfucking table tonight. OK, when that philosophy, you don't come home with that meal and see what your woman or your, you know, or you however that go. See, don't show up with no meals and see what fucking happened, nigga. So the reality is what you do right here, right now, nigga, is what's going to keep you, you know, you know, in a comfortable state. But you can catapult to the next situation. The way them motherfucking Chinese, try, they trying to take over the motherfucking world. You understand? Them, that motherfucker over there think he Kubla Khan or some goddamn Genghis Khan or some goddamn body. On a world conquest, taking over everything. Going to Africa, getting resources and shit. Stealing to build up China. You understand what I'm saying? So we don't see, you know, when they project these, even these, uh, these cities in Africa, they don't, I don't want to hear nothing, nigga. The beast hand is in that. The beast hand is in that. You saying, yeah, yeah, the house, yeah, the beast hand is, yeah, some of that is our people, but the beast hand is in that. Okay. If there's any major nigga, anything popping off on a, on a serious level, the beast hand is in there. I guarantee you the French. I guarantee you the motherfucking British. And I guarantee you that American peck of wood hands is in there. So I don't want to hear nothing. I know it for a fact. So I don't want nobody out there daydream. So my thing is when this motherfucker talking about beefing with the Chinese, do we really give a fuck? You know what I'm saying? We, we need, you know what I'm saying? Because they see in essence, that they're going to chop they motherfucking head. You understand what I'm saying? We don't give a, we see, we in the back. You understand what I'm saying? But we got more leverage with the beast because we in his system. We could collapse this bit. We, 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 we know his system. You know what I'm saying? We could get in there and finagle in the system. We can work away because we here. We not over in goddamn China. So niggas room for China. For what? For motherfucking what, bitch? You ain't got no stake over there. Nigga, they got two billion motherfuckers over there. You ain't got no stake in none of that shit they doing. At least you got some stake where you can finagle over here and send it. How else is you doing? If you're going on a trip, is your ass work right here on this soil, then say that motherfucker. So your finagling, your finance and everything was from this platform. You understand? I don't understand anything that we do. Even Marcus Garvey, he had to get that shit together here. Get the pro, get your, get the money moving, get the, you know, all of the, the organization. And then you, once you got that, then you can shoot in, in somewhere else. But if you ain't got nothing to stay, when you show up, nigga, you got to have a bag, nigga. Two, three, four, five bags. When you show up, because if you talking about moving the crowd and you ain't got no motherfucking economics, nigga, you ain't doing shit. Your ass just talking that talk, bitch. You must be one of them hungry niggas that be hungry a lot. Because a nigga that philosophizes and all that, the nigga that come in and making the moves, nigga, he, he ain't hungry. You understand what I'm saying? So if you philosophize a lot, you a hungry nigga. Okay? You's a hungry nigga. So at the end of the day, first you got to you know, you got to, you know, you got to, you got to get that, you know, that initial money that's going to keep you comfortable. You understand what I'm saying? Before you make any move. So I see him warm with the Mexican. I see him warm with the Chinese. I see him warm with the Chinese. Have no problem with that. Have no problem with that. Motherfuckers talking about he fucking with the red. They been fucking with him. That his brother. You going to get mad at that motherfucker because he went over Man, get the fuck out of here. Even if he did, I, you know what I'm saying? If this shit could collapse at any moment, if the motherfucker over there finagling, he ain't the first one that finagle. You understand what some overseas, that's his motherfucking brother. You understand what I'm saying? He already been motherfucking cozying up with that motherfucker before he even got started running for office. They was already over there doing projects over there. So them and his brother. So 
I know you ain't mad about him for fucking with the Russian. Like you somehow, you don't understand that's his goddamn brother. The British, the all the rest, all them motherfuckers is in the same bag. All them motherfuckers is fighting for is who gonna be on top. Okay, and so he see he got some economic shit he got popping off over there. So he ain't mad. He gonna fuck with whoever gonna fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? The British and shit and all of that. Y'all motherfuckers shine, ain't shining it like it used to. So he probably see a better motherfucking, you know, a better bag fucking with the Russians. So, you know, I don't fuck with no European. I don't give a fuck. So I'm trying to see why is it that black people is so mad at Trump and, you know, and then, you know, he's a core racist. So when he said he seen the shit that popped off at, you know, uh, uh, down in uh, Charlottesville and shit, I already knew before he even got in that Bannon motherfucker was already a racist. He was also, I mean, when he got in, I'm already knowing where the direction of the, where it was going. Y'all act like you get in the motherfucking office and then you see the motherfucker make us, you think he actually going to dismiss the motherfuckers that put him in? That's who put him in. You know what I'm saying? So that was already. So what did y'all expect out of that? I just don't understand. It's like y'all in an, illu an illusion or something. Like y'all didn't expect that he was going to back his you know, constituents. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand that. I don't understand how y'all didn't expect that. That was already expected. You know what I'm saying? And so, so was Bill Clinton coming up out of Arkansas. What? So is, so is motherfucking Bush. Them motherfuckers is all on the same level. Okay, you mean to tell me Bush wasn't as racist as Donald Trump and Bill Clinton? who locked up more motherfucking niggas than any one motherfucking president on the... So what is it that y'all see in this motherfucker that y'all hate so much? You know what I'm saying? The little qualities he got, you know what I'm saying? The fighting the Chinese, fighting the Mexican, you know what I'm saying? If it implode, it implode. You understand what I'm saying? But in some instances, the wars that they have... In, we can kind of maneuver through that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a, not saying, saying what they did, because they're not doing shit for us, but we got to look at the board and then strategically see how the fuck we can maneuver through this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's all the moves he making so, you know, so fucked up that we can't maneuver through that shit and come out on top. I don't, I don't see that. You know what I'm saying? That shit, when I wake up and I see them motherfuckers, he's saying, fuck the Mexican. Hey, man, I don't give a fuck. When I wake up and I see that motherfucker saying, he taxing the motherfucking child, I don't give a fuck at all. I'm just being straight up and down with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, and then I, you, you, and don't no white man love you. So if you look, if, if being, if loving a nigga, is the qualification you go you got to give a white president of America if you you motherfucker you might as well disqualify yourself because you're not gonna ever get that you're not gonna ever get that so you might as well give up on that give up on that okay give up on that okay you're not gonna get one that's gonna love you you know what I'm saying so what what is it that you don't like the fact that he talk about niggas straight up call all the black people dumb and Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. Be up front, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We like motherfuckers to run their mouths. That's cool. You understand what I'm saying? We love motherfuckers to talk. You know what I'm saying? Because them the motherfuckers get their mouth went in. You know what I'm saying? And it be, you know, you want them to talk and this, that, and the third, and the day and P. That's it's all gonna come back. You know what I'm saying? But I never look for no white man to love me. You understand? And see, that's where y'all, that's y'all main problem. Because he won't fake like he love your ass. Now, if you get you a Bill Clinton and a Biden and get you old fake ass, you know, switching ass Hillary Clinton that put up the fake shit, 
fall in love and play like they come on and get a read. <laughs> Give you a nigga five concert at the see. Then you say, oh, he fought me. You understand what I'm saying? You know, that's what you want. The reality is. You upset because your master, after 400 years, still don't show you no love. That's the reality. But when you look at it, he's a pure white man, no different than every other white president that preceded him. No less racist. No less racist. So I'm trying to see what you see in this man you hate so much where you would impeach him. And talk about, but wouldn't impeach Hillary Clinton. Huh? She didn't was all in Africa and shit with her demonic ass. You know what I'm saying? Got the goddamn embassy over there, blow the fuck up, cause they was over there doing that dumb shit. You see what I'm saying? So we didn't we didn't talk about Obama and or Hillary Clinton and all the vicious motherfuckers in Africa and all the sick shit they was doing. All the day, even under Obama, the most motherfucking uh, the when we talking about murders of black people and shit, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucking office didn't do a motherfucking thing. Trayvon, Sandra Bland, all of them, all that happened under Obama. You understand what I'm saying? Did not do nothing. So the thing is that the office is an office of white supremacy. That's it. And so I don't get to. You know, I'm not choosing one over the other and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get to, is it the man policies? <laughs> is it his policies? Or is it the fact that it, your master ain't got no love for you? You looking for the love of your master. That's the real. That's why you mad. Because when I look at the man policy, I ain't got no problem with some of the policy, the major policies. You know, he hate Obama. Okay. George Washington hated niggas. George De Thomas Jefferson hated niggas. Ronald Reagan hated niggas. I, I, if you, George Bush hated niggas. Senior and they all hated niggas. So what am I? You know, he hate Obama. So what? He wasn't the only white man. God damn it. The goddamn Congress locked up on Obama. They wouldn't pass shit. The only thing he got through was that goddamn help. And once he got here, they wouldn't, after that, he was a lame fucking duck. They wouldn't pass shit for him. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reality. You know what I'm saying? So what about all them motherfuckers? And they still in office. A lot of them motherfuckers that locked up on him in Congress still in office. You ain't saying nothing about them. They ain't, look at that motherfucker down in Virginia. And the goddamn, uh, 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 the, the governor. And the uh, the, uh, the, the, the the lieutenant governor, black, but the other motherfucker was the attorney general. He both of them black faced him up. Them motherfuckers still still in office, nigga. Damn story. He said he not stepping down, and ain't nobody forced that bitch to step down. Or oh, that motherfucker, I think it was the attorney general of the uh, state of Virginia. Ain't nobody even talking about it no more. So you think that's the only motherfucker don't like you? All them motherfuckers was dressing up in black face and, and all that shit. All they mamas and daddies was clan members and shit. You know what I'm saying? The fact is y'all niggas looking for the white man love and that's why y'all mad at him. Y'all ain't got over the fact that you ain't gonna get no love. And you supposed to be maneuvering through this shit and, and trying to find your place so you can catapult to the next level. You know what I'm saying? So. I was just, man, I was talking with my wife this morning, man, and we was talking. I said, I'm going to do it. Because like I said, I get up and the first thing I do every morning, I turn on the news and I look at a lot of shit that, and I watch news a lot during the day. And I watch all the, you know what I'm saying? Just like he, you know, he he went over there and he, he, uh, he accepted Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, the white Jew. Who mad at that? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a flying fuck about what the Palestinians talk about. Motherfucking Arab all over in the goddamn community, raping the goddamn community dry. 
You think I give a fuck about what's going on over there? And they damn brothers and cousins and uncles is all over in our goddamn community. Blood suckers of the poor, you know, you know, still in the economy. You think I give a fuck? So when I look at that, even that, I look at it and I laugh. I say, he fucked they shit up. You know, they over there pipe dreaming, talking about, you know, all this, you know, this one accord and, you know, Palestine and Israel and two nations and shit. Ain't going to be no two nations. It ain't. They go, <laughs> them goddamn white Israelites go, I, uh, is, you know, Jews over there go take all that shit. That's, that's the reality. You know what I'm saying? They already slated. They taking all that shit. And if they had to bomb them motherfuckers up under the ground to take it, they going to do that. They already, even the settlement, I'll be watching. They didn't already moved over to the 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 west with the West Bank and shit. That supposed to have been the land for the man. They didn't moved a million Jews over there. They got settlements all over in the West. They taking that shit over. They taking it over. You know what I'm saying? That's the reality. You know what I'm saying? So when we look at you know really the politics that he's putting down. You know, I, it really ain't, you know, it's nothing different than old, but I'm just looking at the international, you know what I'm saying? And if he can bring some more money to the, the states and shit and this, that, and the third, you just have to get in there and get what you could get. You know what I'm saying? And catapult, because, you know, we know, is you know, is when you look at China, and China is a big economy, you know what I'm saying? And these two motherfuckers is battling. You know what I'm saying? You got, and so you see all of these, you know, what could be. Niggas better wake up. Niggas better wake up. But that's the reality. And I'm laughing because I know it's true. I know it's true. The reality is why black people just mad at Donald Trump is because he's not a loving white man. I got to be real with y'all, man. That's serious crackatosis. Because what else? I mean, you ain't never had no health care, nigga. Obama gave you some goddamn, but that ain't that one, niggas, you still ain't got none. You know what I'm saying? Where at? Nigga, niggas ain't never had no goddamn health. And, and if you if you know another administration can come and undo what the last motherfucking administration did anyway, you know that shit was. Oh, you know, you know, that was just a pipe dream. You know what I'm saying? So what the fuck is niggas talking about, man? When we look at that economic thing, we've been on the slide, you know, and we never had nothing. That's the dream, you know, that we somehow we was niggas. It never been a time in black in, in America where black people was doing good. That's the re reality. You know what I'm saying? We think we was doing good, but in reality, we was never because that thin little pipe dream that we had, all it took was one white man to take his two fingers like this and take that little rug you was on and just pull that bitch and everything come collapsing down. If it was real, nigga, they would have had the war like, but when you could come up with two, your index in your thumb, and you can grab the the, the, the motherfucking thin uh, thread of that rug you niggas built y'all little pipe dream on, and that motherfucker can come and just take that and say, whoo, <laughs> and the shit come crashing in. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, they've always had as the joker that if any push come to shove, they coming in militarily. You understand? I don't give a fuck if you're outdoing them economically, like Tulsa and many. Bitch, we rolling in. So in the end game, all of that is a pipe dream because they saying, nigga, if we have to bring you down to the slave state, even if we have to come in and, and with the arms and bomb your ass and do, nigga, you going, you going to stay in the position that we have slated for your ass. And if you ever try to come up out of that, nigga, this is what we going to do. You understand? So that's always been a threat. That joke have always been in their hand. You understand what I'm saying? They doing that now by terrorizing with the police. 
It ain't never been no era in United States where police did not kill black people the way they doing right now today. People talking about, no, the day is just visualized. You got your goddamn phone and they can put that shit in. That's the only way, reason. But back then, nigga, they the same way. They've been killing niggas every year since we've been here. There has never been a hiatus in killing niggas in America. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. So if you blame him, blaming him for what? What are you blaming him for that ain't already been going on forever? What is so I'm just trying to say, what is it about this man that you do not like? For real. Other than the fact that your master don't love you, that he's overt in saying he don't love. You. See, that's really another reason because he's overt saying, you know, you want a motherfucker to do, you know, you want to sneak and get. You know, and do some slick shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get vile and shit, but you want to hide in the closet on your knees, nigga. But this motherfucker, you know, he he throw that motherfucker on your on national TV. You understand what I'm saying? He letting you know, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This is how we serve the nigga. You understand what I'm saying? You want to be the sneaky. You want your you want the white man that gonna take you in the closet and you can sneak in the closet and get. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you want, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't really trying to beat this beast. You want a nigga to have, you want that beast to have mercy on you. Even though he gonna break your back, nigga, you want to, you, you, you want him to put some, sprinkle some sugar on that shit. As long as he can sprinkle some sugar on it. And then at the end of every motherfucking president there, you can already say he ain't did shit. And that's what we say after every month, all the shit that he did not do. You understand what I'm saying? How you doing, dog? You be any better off than no, I'm worse. You understand what I'm saying? So what the fuck is y'all talking about? You know what I'm saying? So in the end of the day, I'm just saying, because like I said, I don't respect none of them at all. You know, I'm just, you know, I, I, I'm i more for a motherfucker being overt. Because when, when a motherfucker overt, I could just show you. I say, you see, just like when I went back and I showed motherfucker Obama the face of imperialism. That was the downfall then, because they really was mad then. And that just piped them up to even put the most racist motherfucker they could. You understand what I'm saying? The one that was going to bring them back, you know, they savior. Donald Trump is they savior. And so that shit, and they ain't going to never let that shit happen again. And even if it do happen again, he going to be whiter than Obama. He going to be, he going he gonna to buy. And then, and then it's, so, it's going to be so sickening. That even if a black motherfucker run, they gon' they gon' run, they gon' be violent for the, the the Mexican vote more than the goddamn black vote, cause the Mexican vote more, you know, that's serious, man. They'll come in this motherfucker and I'll vote your ass. They gon' outvote you. <laughs> These motherfuckers didn't let the Mexican get in here so deep that he can outvote your ass. You the third motherfucker on the... Y'all don't see it. Because y'all niggas too busy trying to be the white man's nigga. That's all it. Y'all mad at Donald Trump because he don't put no sugar on it. He's an overt racist. He don't love niggas and got, and, and got the heart enough to say it. And put all type of racist motherfuckers in this cabinet, and motherfuckers, you know, and and that to me is real. You understand? He said we're gonna run this bitch like we've been running it. We didn't fucked up too many of y'all, you know, white people that got in. Y'all didn't been loving, you know, showing you ain't been putting the foot down on these niggas and these Mexicans like we you supposed to. You understand what I'm saying? I'm in this bitch. It's a new sheriff in town. And we about to get back to like how it was in the beginning. You understand what I'm saying? That is so your dream is up. Your dream is motherfucking up. And I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> if that motherfucker get in again, it, let's be real. It's a high probability. They talking all that impeachment shit. And I don't give a fuck whether they do or not you know what i'm saying but you gonna be surprised about how many motherfuckers in this country gonna come to his aid 
Nah, people mad at him, right? And you see how he think, right? But they voted him in. And not only did they vote him, you talking about the electoral college. And so it really ain't your vote. It's the, plus we, but we counted the vote. You understand? And then they, so it was damn near 50 50. You know what I'm saying? So that just lets you know how many motherfuckers in this country think like him, thought, think, thought like him before he got there. You understand what I'm saying? So that just show you the divide. So is you mad at him or is you mad at them 50 million other motherfucking beasts that think just like him? That'll make it hard on your ass everyday life. You know what I'm saying? So what is it? You know what I'm saying? You can't get and don't get mad at them 50 million other motherfuckers out there that's plotting to put another motherfucker in there just like him that's going to finish the job. They're going to put that motherfucker back in there. I'm telling you. If that shit, if they don't come up with some core and show that he, now if he, if they come up with it and they get rid of it, they got the, they got him. You know, but if they don't, it's because it, they was talking that shit he wasn't going to get in there the first time. And he got right on it. And you know who put the people in power because the electoral college, they put him in there. OK, so you could talk all that shit. You, so he got half the country on the ground and then he had the motherfuckers in power that cast the electoral vote. He had them, too. So all the motherfuckers on the news was talking about Hillary was when man, that bitch didn't win shit. They didn't want her. They didn't put her in power. You know what I'm saying? So she was shown when it came to the electoral college. You understand what I'm saying? And he in there ruthlessly, you understand, doing whatever he can because they was ruthless. They was just as ruthless, but they ran into a motherfucker more ruthless than them. You know what I'm saying? And so it's a high probability. It's a high probability that he could get in there again, okay? And that all that talk of that impeachment shit, I don't give a fuck about none of that at all. But just to show y'all what's happening while niggas out here playing games, that impeachment shit could backfire on all them motherfuckers and embolden this motherfucker and push him into the next off, you know, in, you know, for the next four years. And if he go in there the next four years, man, and especially watching that Congress, yeah, it's Democrat, which it don't mean shit. You know, they it's just two tribe, white tribes fighting for power. And now one of them motherfuckers, because Democrat or Republican, nigga, your ass gonna be on the bottom. At the bottom goddamn line. So I hear a lot of motherfuckers talk about this man, Donald Trump. And I just sit back and I watch the news and I just like the way he, I just like the way he just say, fuck you. You know, I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, you know, he riding out, he riding out. And I like, you know, I, you know, I like a motherfucker that just going to be himself. You know what I'm saying? Nobody mad at a motherfucker like that. Fuck you, bitch. This is how, this white power, this is how we rolling. You know what I'm saying? He talked. And when he get up there and debate them motherfuckers, he talks so much shit about them motherfuckers. And it shit be so funny, you know what I'm saying? Because he be cutting it to they ass, you know? And so that's just almost like co co comedians and shit. When you sit up there and watch how they cut it to a motherfucker, and we see, we don't laugh and shit, because a lot of times it's us that he talking about. You know what I'm saying? But the way he be cutting it to the motherfucker talking about, you know, motherfucker, you ain't going to make it out to primary. He be telling them, you ain't ready to run against me. You know what I'm saying? He be talking cash shit to the motherfucker. And so I'll just be sitting back laughing because he did, he punking these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? He punking them up. Every motherfucker he talk and the shit that he said and then after the goddamn, after running, you know, he ends up putting these motherfuckers, some of them motherfuckers crawl on their knees. You understand what I'm saying? And get a position with them up. After he dogged they <laughs> What's that motherfucker? What's that black motherfucker that came out? They made secretary of, uh, 
a hood. What's that motherfucking name? I forget his name, man. He talked about him so bad and shit. Man, he talked about him bad than a motherfucker. And then he go crawl over there and get a job. You know, he made him second. And then he stepped down and shit. I'm a roaster and shit. Dogged her out. But she was, uh, and she wasn't nothing but his, his little, you know what I'm saying? So why did you know, not motherfuckers give a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't dog I'm a roaster. And she was, and yeah, we already know. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, he don't need you no more. You know what I'm saying? But you was in there, on, you know, doing what you, you needed to do. It ain't no telling what you did, but we know you did some. But now motherfuckers mad because that motherfucker is his right. If you his dog and you his lap dog, he got the right to say, bitch, get off my lap. You know what I'm saying? Y'all mad at that. You know what I'm saying? But y'all not mad at the fact that all these motherfuckers was finagling with it and knew what it was long before it ran. Come on, man. Y'all, ma and then y'all want to, you know, I don't give a fuck. I didn't give a, you know, I always holly, but, you know, when a motherfucker already done crossed the line and already done violated and all that, ain't no cleaning that up. You was there. You didn't did what you didn't did. And ain't no, you know what I'm saying? It was good when it was good, but now nigga don't want you on the lap. Now, nah, get the fuck off my lap. Now y'all mad. But when she was laying on the motherfucking lap, wasn't nobody saying shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't give a fuck about none of that. All them motherfuckers that fuck with him and he not saying, bitch, get off my lap. I have no problem with that. I don't. I don't have no problem with that. So, you know, I put them where they belong. I, I have no expectations of that man to bring nothing to me or nothing. I'm not looking for his blessing. I'm not looking... I'm just looking back laughing at, you know, what's going on. Because it's, it's, it's funny. And niggas is mad because they, they ain't got nobody. Like the rest of the president, they'll try to, you know, you know they'll try to kiss up and make and pretend like they care about black people. Now you got one to just, oh, and he, Bush didn't give a fuck neither. You understand what I'm saying? Don't act like Bush gave a fuck because Bush didn't give a fuck. He didn't give a flying fuck about nothing. That motherfucker come up out of Texas, that motherfucker don't give a fuck about nothing. You see what I'm saying? And so, family, I had to put this out here because the reality is, the bottom line, the main reason, because ain't no other man put you in no other position, no better position. You've been in this position for a long time. You been in this so okay, we're not going for busy. He, he's the same motherfucker with a, a, a the same suit, different suit, same man. You know what I'm saying? The main reason why black people don't like Donald Trump is because he won't fake like he loves them. That's real. That's real because, like I say, when I look at his policy or what he's doing, I can't say I'm all that mad about what he's doing. I can't. I can't. You know, on the international, on the national shit, he say he bring him. And if money come to America, there ain't no way they could shut it down where niggas can't get none. That's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? If there's more money out there, it's more money to be made, and niggas could get in there for nay. However, they choose to get in. You understand what I'm saying? However, you choose to get in. If there's more money floating around out here, it ain't no way they could shut it down when niggas can't get in there and get because niggas gonna come up with a plan on how to get in some of them bags, nigga. Straight up. So if there's more money in the motherfucker, then there's more bags a nigga could get in. This, that, and the third. And that's real motherfucker talk. If this bitch dry, this bitch dry, and ain't nothing coming through this motherfucker, you ain't going to get shit. So at the end of the day, is there some food on that motherfucking table tonight? That's what mama want to know. Mama want to know, got them babies, and is it going to be some motherfucking food on this table tonight? Fuck the philosophy, this, that, and the third. So at the end of the day, I got to know, you know, is it going to be, so we could catapult 
to the next level. If you go on to Nigeria, you go on to Ghana, you go, you ain't showing up to that motherfucker without no bag. You finagling right now to get your bag together. So when you do go back to Africa, wherever you're going to leave here, that you could get you a house, that you could get you. So the finagling and the motherfucker economic plan that you is start from here. Okay. And so if he's doing something that's going to get more money in the nation, I'm not saying he's bringing it here for us. We got the, 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 the ingenuity to get in them bags. You see what I'm saying? To get in them bags. China, you can't get in shit over there. Mexico, you can't get shit over there. And if, if his motherfuckers keep flooding in here, that they going to get in the bag. You understand what I'm saying? There is going to be so many damn hands and shit. So if he put the wall up, do I give a fuck about him putting the wall? No, I don't. I don't. Put that bitch up. <laughs> put that motherfucker up. They say they're going to start putting out, putting niggas out. They, well, they got the power to dig. They've been done that. They've been talking about doing it. So if they start throwing niggas out, then the, the, the well has run dry. They was telling you a long time. You just didn't believe it. You thought he loved you. You thought he loved you. You didn't say, no, nah, yeah, dang on, bitch. If they start taking niggas, you know, citizenship and shit and this, that, and the third, then the well is run dry. We said it was going to run dry. Quit waiting to the motherfucking ship. Is under the water. You wait, you wait, and, and then when the bitch on the bottom, you say, "Damn, did the did the boat sink?" That's the question. Did the bitch it been sunk? What the fuck? You wait till the boat get on the bottom and then say, "Did the boat sink?" Bitch it been sunk. You know what I'm saying? So, family, I have fun with y'all on this one. I ain't really asking for. You know, you know, you know, you can put in there whatever you want. I'm I'm laughing at the end of the day. You know, I'm at, I'm laughing because that is the reality. Niggas is mad because Donald Trump won't fake like they like he love and that he's overt. And you would rather have some covert white man that throw out a few. I, I love black people and I'm going to do this for black people. And at the end of his motherfucking presidency, you saying the same thing all over again. Man, he didn't do shit. That's what you want. You want fake love. You want fake love from white people. That's it. That's real. That's real. So I'm about to get, I ain't even looked in my chat room. I know motherfuckers probably in there going wild and shit. Let me go and take one peek at my chat room. And see, I ain't looked at no time while I, because I didn't want it to affect how, uh, you know. <laughs> Donald Trump, a motherfucker, dog. That motherfucker putting up walls and, and blockades and shit and tariffs on motherfuckers, man. This man is crazy. <laughs> But he ain't got no problem beefing. He, he say he doing it for, you know, trying to get the dollars back into it. And so we going to see. We going to see if niggas can, you know, if niggas is in, can get in these bags, if the money is actually coming back. You know what I'm saying? And if it is, it should be the brothers and shit. You should, listen, there ain't going to be more, too many more bags you can get into. So y'all better go ahead and do what y'all gonna do. And if you head back, you better go ahead and get your going back bag together now. Go ahead and get your going because you're not about to show up in Africa without no bag. <laughs> Somehow y'all niggas think y'all gonna show up to the shores of Africa without no motherfucking fire dance and nobody. Bitch, you gonna be over there with no shoes on your feet, nigga. You gonna be hungry. You know, there's nowhere in this world you going to go, even Africa, without no finance. So I'm just going to tell you. So you better, right here where you, you know, somewhat mastered the playing field. And you, if you want to, you know how to get in there and finagle. Get in there and get the most out of this motherfucker before it's too late. Because, God damn it, it's going to be a whole lot of hungry niggas out there. Playing these games and philosophizing and shit. 
You know, philosophy don't, you can't eat no goddamn philosophy, man. You know what I'm saying? And you, your babies can't be, you got to have some inheritance. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you know, yeah. And you know what you're going to hand down your, uh, to your babies? Some philosophy. Bitch, we don't want that. These niggas got, you know, houses and shit and businesses and shit. And you handing a motherfucker some philosophy and it didn't do nothing for you. So you better wake the fuck up today. It's about getting, you know, some inheritance for our families, getting in a position where we could do better for ourselves. It's about when we get it, what do we do with it? It's time to stop, of, uh, you know, just, you know, just spending the money on whatever the fuck you, you, you know, frivolous shit, frivolous spending. That shit is over with. It's about strategizing for the future so that your family can have some inheritance. And we got to look at ourselves here in this country as a tribe and that we need each other. And if wherever we, we need to move together, motherfuckers want to go over there individually. And I understand that. But damn, you get over there, motherfuckers, sometimes, and I, I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? They got they 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 blood lines and we got our. And sometimes you need to stick together with your motherfucking bloodline so you can look out for one a anywhere you go, even in Africa, you know, and we all Africans, but they got their own particular bloodline and they stick together and make sure. And even though they might look out for the next African, they're not going to look out for them before they look out for their own. That's react. That's wherever you go. So I'm just going to bring that that we have a better chance sticking together as a nation. You understand what I'm saying? As, no matter what, you know, as those Africans that's in America have been here, we have a better opportunity to stick together and expand and work with one another. And wherever we go, we need to go in groups and shit, you know, and stay in contact with one another. So. Wherever we at, we can help each other. You know, just like you got one brother in New York, one brother in Los Angeles, but you're still a flat family. And if you got to come together, you can. Cause all that uh, watering down our, uh, you know, our energy and our power as a particular tribe. We are a particular African tribe on this night, on this planet. And whether we don't, uh, you know, we don't all understand where we come from in Africa. We know we African. And we are a particular African nation on this planet. We got a, a particular and unique culture that's unique. Unto, we got a language. We got an understanding. We got a music. We got a we got we got a culture, and we got to respect ourselves for that. And it's best to keep it together and build off of one another and take it into the future. Because within this culture, we didn't already show much of our greatness. We didn't already show what we're great at. And if we take that, what we didn't already and expand on that, that's what's going to take us into the future. All right, family. Let me get on up. Let me see what the uh, chat look like. Hi, hi, family. Give me a, what y'all think. I'm looking at the chat. What y'all think about uh, that interpretation? What y'all think of, if you want to laugh or whatever, what y'all think about that interpretation of old Donald Trump? Come on, y'all. Put it in there for me. Put it in there for me. Tell me what you think. That's what's up. That's what's up. Them niggas out there rolling. I was laughing all through that shit because that shit was funny as fuck to me, man. All right, family, I love you. I'm gonna be black tomorrow. I'm gonna be right black tomorrow. Stay with me, cause I'm doing that G5 shit and breaking that shit down and getting off into them video game. So stick with me and shit, cause that's gonna be very pop. I wanna show y'all something. So when I put that up, have your ass in the place. All right, family, this is the General Sarah Sun said he's saying, hey, arm yourself with knowledge, bang on that wicked ass beast daily liberation through African education and confrontation. Black pop.